deputy consider some changes to the department in response to a record number of shootings involving officers last year. Anchor Sasha Leninger is live for us at APD headquarters. And Sasha, what are these possible changes? Darlene, the department now considering seven changes after 18 shootings in 2022 involving Albuquerque police officers. And after reviewing each shooting, the department saw some trends that they do now want to fix. Down now. Put it down. It's a situation Albuquerque officers found themselves in 18 times in 2022. They want to have to do this. Put the knife down. Hey, do it. You take Don't one step, it. I'm going to shoot. Having to fire their weapon. It's something Chief Harold Medina has experienced once in his 28 years in law enforcement. The officers are affected also that it will leave something in their mind and in their heart for the rest of their lives. After reviewing each shooting, the department says there are some trends. Roughly two thirds of the officers involved in the shootings have six or less years of experience. Eight of the shootings involve someone shooting at officers and a third of the suspects have a history of mental health. Six of them had individuals that were in uh, had a history of uh, crisis intervention, um, but three of them were only known by officers. So that's a big difference of what the, actu what the officers actually know at the time of the shooting. APD now making some changes, including more hands on training, increased supervision, more mentorship, additional equipment for officers like ballistic shields or a magnifying optic for their rifles, policies for clearing scenes, increased consideration for using less lethal options and wound care. We did identify that there was um, a couple of issues where officers really did need to render aid sooner than they did or at all. Um, and so we wanted to make sure that we emphasize that during training. The chief says this is a big step forward. We have to prepare for some day when the Department of Justice leaves the Albuquerque Police Department and how we're going to navigate through trends and situations. Now, de-escalation is a tactic officers use to try and calm a situation. In those 18 sh shootings, de-escalation was used three times. APD says in 13 of those, de-escalation was not feasible. And in two shootings, de-escalation should have been used, but it was not. APD says these new trainings can roll out as soon as April. Back to you. Sasha, thank you. And this is the first time the department has given a yearly overview on all shootings involving its officers, saying it now plans to do this every six months.